Good day, Stillman. I'm Mr. Johnson, and in honor of African American History Month, I would like to share some historical facts and accomplishments done by African Americans. Today, I want to share with you one of the many accomplishments of Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens was the son of a sharecropper and grandson of a slave, and despite his difficult origins, he achieved what no Olympian before him had accomplished. His stunning achievement of four gold medals at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin has made him the best remembered athlete in Olympic history. Jesse entered the 1936 Olympics, which were held in Nazi Germany, amidst the belief by Hitler that the games would support his belief that the German Aryan people were the dominant race. Jesse had different plans. As he became the first American track and field athlete to win four gold medals in a single Olympiad. This remarkable achievement stood unequaled until the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles when another African American, Carl Lewis, matched Jesse's feet. Although others have gone on to win more gold medals than Jesse, he remains the best remembered Olympic athlete because he achieved what no Olympian before or since has accomplished. During a time of deep-rooted segregation, he not only discredited Hitler's master race theory, he also affirmed that individual excellence rather than race or national origin distinguishes one man from another. Welcome back, Steelman. You are watching the February 23rd edition of the SNN News with me, Gilly, and my fabulous friends. Speaking of fabulous friends, the Green Team Garden Club will meet after school today in room 223. Spring is just around the corner, so we will be bringing plants inside to transplant in the garden. And, speaking of meetings, the Student Council will be having a meeting this Thursday, February 26th in room 810 after school. And as always, new members are welcome. And, more meetings, I know. The Freshman Class Committee meeting will be held on Wednesday, February 25th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Mer Merrill in room 319 or Ms. Stefan in room 289. For the month of February, there will be an African American art contest. The art piece can be any medium, i.e. drawing, painting, ceramics, etc. The art piece can be any size and it must be school appropriate. The theme for the art piece must be either black innovation or peace between races and must be submitted to Ms. Wilhelmsen in room 373 by today. First, second, and third place winners will be announced at the African American History Assembly. The first place winner will receive a $25 gift card, second place will receive a $15 gift card, and a third place winner will receive a $10 gift card. Central JROTC finished a close second place behind Bolingbroke in the SWSC JROTC Conference Championship recently. The following commanders placed first in the categories at the Conference Championship. Mercedes Salarzano, George Arias, and Danny Valdivinos. The following commanders placed second in the categories at the championship. Jesus Chavez, Jennifer Martinez, and Anna Martinez. Great job, Steelman. Those students who enrolled for the spring driver's education classes after school should check the glass case outside the guidance office to see which class they are enrolled in. Students in the Monday, Wednesday class must take the permit and vision test after school on Wednesday, February 25th in room 681. Now here's Justice with some more information. Students in the Tuesday, Thursday class must take the permit and vision test after school on Tuesday, Thursday, February 26th in room 681. Study the rules of the road booklet, bring your glasses or wear your contacts, bring a check or money order for $20 to cover the cost of the permit. See a counselor before these dates if you have any questions. Need community service hours? Well, the youth service manager at the Manhattan Elwood Library is looking for teen volunteers to help with fun projects in the library on Thursday, February 26th, and on Saturday, March 7th, from 9.30 to 2.30. If you're interested, please call Mary Bellotti at 815-478-3987 or email her at mcbellotti at mpld.org. Joliet Township High School will be hosting a parent student university from 6 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, February 26th at Joliet Central High School. The event is free of charge and open to the public. Parent and student university features keynote speakers Janine Barnes and Mark Peterson, who will discuss the topic Stop Harassment, Intimidation, and Bullying. 
Every day, thousands of teens are afraid to go to school because they fear being bullied in one or more ways. These incidents can often lead to physical or mental health issues for the victim, substantially interfering with the student's ability to participate in school services, activities, or privileges. Following the keynote presentation are two 25-minute breakout sessions that will be held and they will cover a variety of topics providing guidance on college preparation and selection and student success. Topics include My ICP, Preparing Your Son or Daughter for a College, Explorer, Plan, ACT, and The Park, What Parents Need to Know About Standardized Testing. The Joliet Central and West Drama Departments proudly present film and television star Walt Wiley in his one-man show, Wild Bill, An Evening with James Butler Hickok. On Friday, February 27th, there will be a free performance at 4 p.m. at the Joliet West High School Auditorium, and it's free to all Joliet Central students. Showtime is at 4, so it's suggested that you arrive by 3.50 to be seated and ready for the performance. Don't miss the opportunity to see this professional production for free. Today's lunch, pepper steak with rice, sausage pizza, spicy grilled chicken sandwich, cheeseburger with turkey deli sandwich, chip salad with chicken, cheese, and crackers, Bosco cheese sticks with marinara sauce, and your choice of up to 4 cup servings of sweet potato tots, tossed romaine lettuce, and spinach salad, mandarin oranges, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Tuesday's breakfast, breakfast pizza and your choice of two half cup servings of fruit and your choice of milk. Tuesday's lunch is breaded pork sandwich, pepperoni pizza, grilled chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, ham jelly sandwich, chef salad with chicken, cheese, and crackers. Nachos with cheese, your choice of up to four half cup servings of baked beans, cherry tomatoes with dip, applesauce, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Now that's all for today, Steelman. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We will conclude with another yearbook promotion. Mm. <laughs> we ride together, we die together. Bad boys for life. <laughs>